Welcome to another episode of the Rags to Riches series, Vet Edition. And we're checking out what's wrong with little Chester. He needs some attention. Sorry buddy, we've been trying to get everything uh, squared away. We've been collecting stuff. So we'll give him some hugs. Give him some cuddles. Let's see, what else, what else? Uh, and maybe I'd give him a good brush. He's got a lot of fur. That's a good puppy. I love his little floppy ear. And I like that they um, both flick the person and wash the brush because that's certainly what my cats do when you brush them. Alright, uh, looks like he needs to pee. Has to go potty. It's kind of weird that we have to tell them how to do that even after they've been trained. Look at your tail, you derp dog. Look at him chasing it. There we go. What, what you doing, buddy? He's just happy? Is that, is that what he's doing? Alright, he's doing it himself. Good. Okay. We're gonna check our phone, apparently. Let's see, let's head down to the beach. And see what we can find down here for collecting and selling. Which one's this magnet? We already got some of that planted. Oh, here's um daisies. Cool. What's this one? Tulips. We got that. There's a puppy. Fatima. Is that puppy's name? If it's a stray, I wonder how we know its name. <laughs> so if it has a collar, it's not really a stray, is it? It's looking for frogs. Oh mo. This dog looks sad. I think. Maybe he's just looking for something. No, he's sad. Lady, is that your dog? Be nice to him. No, he's a stray. See, that one's just named Dog. That's what they should be before you name them if they're a stray. Look at that guy. Look at his moustache. No, that's- yes, he does have a moustache. Come here, moustache dog. Well, this looks like they're in person. <laughs> I wish those puppies would have, uh, talked to each other and maybe helped them feel better. Let's grab some more daisies. Tomorrow I want to head to the city. Um, someone mentioned that we could find some stuff to sell or buy stuff to plant so we'll just go ahead and check out the city. It's not something we've looked at in this playthrough I don't believe. Can we go over this way? There's nothing over here so probably not but it would be cool come over here. Oh man, I almost clicked the go home button after that. Uh, it's not at all what I want. Oh, my tent's lit up all by itself. Maybe there's a stranger danger in there. Um, I'll probably have her take a bath and then take a, a sleep. She's gotten into a pretty weird um, schedule. <laughs> Uh, she slept most of the morning and woke up in the evening and that's why I didn't go to the city today um, Just because I'm afraid of getting there and having all the stalls closed So I'm gonna try to get her to go to sleep at a normal time so she can get up at a normal time <laughs> Not that I know what that's like uh, Probably should wait That's a good body. Oh, it's stuck now. All right fill the bowls and then go to sleep And then Actually, I believe we had something in our inventory. I got a package from Chester. I don't know what it was. Oh! Don't fear the rig gnome bark. This is Steve, so- oh, yes, he looks very friendly. The most friendly of gnomes. <laughs> I don't know if we want this in our house. Sell it for $200. Let's put him down for a second. Uh, Put them out like out in the back. It's funny I've been playing another game, uh, RimWorld, and the keys you use to turn these in uh, RimWorld actually cycles you through the characters. Yes, and so you'll be like trying to play something down, you click, and all of a sudden you're like halfway across the map. You're like, what just happened? That was not intended. Yeah, real friendly looking dude. Gotta get a picture of that guy. But we should probably sell him. I don't think that welcomes people. 
don't think this is something you want on your vet lot. <laughs> or is is that a Grim Reaper? I, I think I'll go to the next neighborhood and to the other vet. <laughs> Thanks though. So I'm gonna let her finish up what we have planned and I'll see you guys when we get into the city. Here we are at the city park which is freaking beautiful and there's a whole lot to it uh even though the lot you could build on is quite small i like this area Ooh, i wonder if there's a poster there's never any posters <laughs> i like that there's several bathrooms there's a good fishing area with a lovely pond um i think it was mia who suggested that we go to the town and see what we could find uh in the stalls and stuff i'm actually looking for something specific i'm looking for what is this? Oh, I'm looking for some berries uh, to plant. She says that they are worth quite a bit and I'm open to pretty much anything to earn us some money until we can get ourselves a vet equipment. <laughs> it's a whole lot of frog uh, logs in this area. So I'm seeing if there's anything we can find in this area. I'm not sure which stalls sell what I'm looking for, so I'm just going to kind of hop around and check out all of them. And I am checking out to see if there's anything we can find before we take off into the next area. I don't know if I've- I haven't really shown off the city in this Let's Play, so it'll be kind of cool to take a look at it. It's quite big. <laughs> Cities are not something I am personally very familiar with. Ooh, those are cute. Do we have those? Is that an option I can use? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever noticed them. They're very cute. Um, yay! We got some food. Decided instead of cooking endless hot dogs that I might as well <laughs> buy something while we're out and about. So, is this one even open? I don't think it is. No. It'll probably open up later. It's over in here. Hmm burritos and stuff that would be yummy all right so not seeing what i want here what is this Ooh, we can look for snow globes though so we'll check that out real quick maybe that's not one of the boxes i guess not it looks like them are we gonna find anything cool in here cool snow globe uh yes we got the new crest snow globe so I will probably sell that. It's not like we have anywhere to display our collection, so there's no reason to really start the collection quite yet. Um, ooh, there's another one. Let's grab snow globes. I don't know why people are leaving snow globes all over the, the ground in boxes, but maybe that's something people in the city do. <laughs> I highly doubt it, though. <laughs> Check for a poster again. No. That's too bad. Those are- I like the art on the posters that you can find. So I think I will be grabbing that, the stuff out of that box and then heading to the next neighborhood of the city. Here we are at the city gym, which is way up in the sky. Oh, nobody's afraid of heights. I certainly am, but that one didn't trigger me. Certain games like uh, Assassin's Creed, now that can <laughs> get my heart pounding when you go leaping off really high, high buildings, but this one's not so bad. It's so pretty. And you can see all these little sims down there walking around. That's obviously like a um, oh there's a kiddo. But it looks like a business area. They're all dressed in suits. There's a hookah area. Oh this is really pretty. I wonder if this- I kind of wish this was something we could build ourselves. Like it's kind of sad to see them create things that we can't create ourselves. <laughs> I'm sure you could with some cheats and stuff figure it out but I wish that it was just something we could do it on, a, on our own <laughs> through legit means. So there's this. Oh, maybe there's someone's got no posters still. There's um. Let's see if we can go to the map so I can show you what's in this neighborhood. So you can go up and there's a lounge, there's apartments, and then there's this workout space. Is our pets with us? Uh. I kind of wish they escape, escaped from the map. <laughs> no, they're not here with us. Okay, good. Well, she's getting a little bit of workout while we're looking around and seeing what we got, which is cool. Though you can see her outfits that aren't for when she's almost. <laughs> oh wait, is that my cat? 
Okay, why did the cat come with us? Oh, I think I sent it home and it probably didn't end up getting home. Uh, let's quit and see if I can send it home now. I care, send home. I really don't want my cat following me around on these adventures. <laughs> uh, I went to the gym last night and I was working on arms and I actually had a really upset stomach and so I was just concentrating on that and uh, I think it made it so I wasn't paying as much attention to the workout so afterwards my arms were freaking noodles like I could hardly pick them up to uh, put them on my desk without them like shaking. <laughs> this is ridiculous! <laughs> I kinda like that they have that little downstairs area. I am disappointed they don't have a pool though. Every gym should have a pool. I wish my gym had a pool, but it's against our policies for reasons I don't like. <laughs> I love swimming. We have one pool. There's a person performing up here. All right. Oh, there's a person. Let's see what they got. Uh -huh. Order food. Nope. Now there's a puffer fish, which real dangerous stuff. You don't want to eat that if it's prepared wrong or you'll die. <laughs> I like all these little sitting nooks and stuff though. Can you imagine how rich you'd have to be to live in one of these buildings? <laughs> it would be ridiculous. Oh, there's a bridge. Look at all this. I think I've been into this neighborhood once. Wow. Look at all that nature involved somehow. These are really tall buildings. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You know what I wouldn't want? To be up here in an earthquake. That's for sure. Yeah, no. That would just not be fun, this whole thing, moving around. Mm-mm. Not okay with me. To the next area. Hopefully we can find some stuff to pick up in the area while we're out and about. And here we are in another neighborhood in front of a karaoke bar thing. Though this one doesn't have rooms, it's just the one in the area, which I wouldn't want to go to. I'd rather want the ones with rooms, both for my own singing sake, which I would never do, but also so I don't have to listen to people who aren't good <laughs> uh, while I was chilling and having foods. What'd you just get? Oh, she's watching a performance. Okay. Well, that was nice of you. Gives that guy some money for his violin. So we got more food, is there? Yes? No. Ah! Oh, I'll never get a poster. Probably have to hang out for a while for it to spawn. I wonder if it's like a plant. <laughs> it takes a while to grow. <laughs> get to the point where you can harvest it. This is really pretty. You know? The more I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've ever actually visited this neighborhood. I like this. This is lovely. This is like the sand and everything. Oh, so nice. What's this? Ah, a household. So this is an apartment that you can live in. It's up there. I think you can also live in some other of the apartments. There's the bathroom. Don't imagine you find much to pick up and harvest in this area. Look at all those cars. How did these cars get up here? Oh, I see. Through there. <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, magic cars. <laughs> I didn't realize they had flying cars in this game. Oh man, the attention to like detail in there. I guess because it's such a small compact area, they can. Though I've uh, recently watched a video by The Sims Supply comparing the different settings on The Sims, and boy, am I glad I can run this at a higher tier. Like the fog that you get to cover stuff is incredible. Are you looking for a poster? No, you're repairing it. Does this need? Rep Does that give me posters? What are you even doing? What are you repairing? What's this box do? Why does it have posters? I didn't think it needed fixed. Wouldn't it be funny if that's what puts the posters on it? Oh, she's still watching that guy play in the violin, which is so kind of her. She's still in her workout clothes. Look at all these cool people. You're, you've got quite the fashion there, lady. Your hat and shoe. <laughs> oh, is that spicy? <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh, now we're watching this lady? Yes. <laughs> She's trying to distract the lady. That's hilarious. It didn't work very well. She's still doing her thing. I think she won. I think that what's- oh. 
Uh, are you a ghost? Get out of here. You and your ghosty self just walking through people. That's not very polite. I think that person's infinitely going to be repairing that thing. So we're going to peace out and check out less high-end neighborhood. <laughs> Though you, it's funny, the uh, poorer it gets, the closer to the ground you get. Uh, so this one's like a middle tier because you're still above the ground, but there's still, you know, cool stuff going on below. So let's check out one close to the ground and I'll see you guys in a bit. Here we are at a new neighborhood. This one is on the ground. Closer to the ground? Closer to the ground. We're getting there. We're still a little bit above. The last one will actually be on the ground. I wonder what this is. Oh, like roads. There's roads under here. Got it, got it, got it. So what kind of foods we got in this area? We've got like produce. <gasps> is this the answer? Hurry, before she leaves. <gasps> $55! Good lord. And wasabi. Uh, ma'am, I'd like to let you know wasabi is not a produce. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, we do want the blackberries. Because if they're costing us a lot, they'll definitely be worth a lot. What else do we want? Um, there's all kinds of stuff here. I wonder if this is all- there's, this is not all of them. <laughs> I was gonna say, I wonder if this is all of the fruits and stuff, but I don't think it is. I do wonder if any of these, um, let's go with five? Can I afford that? Yeah. I wonder if, because you can make treats and things to sell with your vet, and I wonder if any of them use fruits and veggies. I know, like, the science career uses them, so maybe it does, but I don't know which ones that would be. Let's get ourselves some grapes. Uh, let's just go with grapes and blackberries and then the fruits and veggies that we eat. I think I mostly want to stick to flowers and the um, vet related plants. Ooh, slow down, slow down, woo, 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 slow down, thank you. Do we, we need food, so we'll go ahead and grab something from this guy. Uh, that, that I don't know how to pronounce and I'm not going to try. Is that Miss Pancakes? I didn't know you played the violin. Eliza Pancakes. Um, so we're gonna go have ourselves some food. I'm really glad that we found those blackberries. I was starting to lose hope, especially because wild ones take like three in-game days to fruit and they don't really grow when you're not on the lot. So I'd have had to have camped somewhere for three days to get it. Or download a lot from the gallery that already had it on there. Um, Oh, I didn't. I wasn't too stoked about the hafting to do that. Well, this is kind of a neat little area. Oh, you can come in here and you can graffiti the wall. Paint is a Muriel. M Muriel. That is a name, not a thing. <laughs> but you can come in here and paint. That's kind of cool. And I think you can do it here on the ground too. That's nice of them. Makes sense that the art gallery would allow that. This is a pretty cool area. We've got the coats area and some fancy bathrooms. Uh, why? Why two sinks and one toilet stall? <laughs> I think I'd rather it the other way around. Personally, what's up here? Oh, I think this is actually not a art gallery. I think this is maybe the. What is this slot called? Forgot, but it's like an art activity building. Art center. There we go. Yeah, so it's not the same as an art gallery. You go here to do the art as opposed to just view it. Oh, we're back to looking at street art. So we'll pop into the one last area since we've almost done a full tour of the city. We might as well complete it. Ah, well. You've actually seen the last area. That's where the flea market is. So I think I might end it here with this fancy structure. Which, yeah, cool. <laughs> I never get art sometimes. I'm like, uh, if you say it's art, then it's art. Yeah, mm-hmm. But some stuff is really cool. I like some of the stuff where it depends on how you look at it. It completely changes what you're looking at. But that's not the case down there. God, I didn't know she played the violin. Look at you go. So, 
that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look around the city. It's not something we will be seeing off seeing very often. Oh, a reward for your generous tip. You have unlocked the paint, the hat, the outfit. So we can now do this for tips if we get poor enough. <laughs> Which is cool. I, uh, I think we'd be a little out of place in our nature area, but we'll see. We'll see what we'll, we'll do for some moonies. But until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.